What if I were to suggest that you play a key role in the awakening world? And that you are watching this because you have heard the call. We can start right now by opening our hearts and minds. Welcome to the awakening world. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Awakening World. I'm Love Coach Scott Catalas, and we have a really beautiful and fun show planned today. Um, uh, I'm going to be uh, going live to Omashar, who's in Ashland, Oregon, uh, attending the Relax Expansion Festival. So, um, hang on, let me uh, remove the pins and let me put uh, the spotlight here is beloved brother Omashar. <laughs> Hi there. How are you, Scott? How are you, you beloved Global Peace Fight Tribe family? I'm uh, I'm staying back from the festival because I was missing uh, the Global Peace Tribe. So I thought I'd hang out on Sacred Sunday with you here today. Oh. But uh, the festival is really beautiful. I don't know if you showed any um, uh, photos or anything like that, Scott. But there's I don't know, two, 300 people there. It's just lovely, just a beautiful vibration. Um, there's families, kids running around, the most top shelf music you could ever imagine. And uh, last night we had uh, Elijah and the Ray of Light on along with um, the Band of Light, along with the uh, Shyla Ray Sunshine. And uh, everyone's, con everyone's cross-pollinating. And so it's beautiful, it's phenomenal. I just feel so lifted to be amongst other real people. What a concept. Oh my God. Well, it's great to have you with us. And I'm also going to go to uh, Trish Wright is with us. And Trish is in San Francisco. Wow. At the Gay Pride Festival and Parade, the Gay Pride. And tell us about it, Trish. How are you? Hey, everyone. Welcome to Sacred Sundays. And, you know, if you know me, you know that I believe that everything is sacred in especially freedom of expression and your liberation. So mm -hmm. I'm at the beginning of the, the parade right here. And I'm walking with a community called Bloom Network, which is a polyamorous, ethical, non-monogamous folks. We're a whole lot of, of awesome over here. We've got so many amazing um, groups of people who are showing up to represent rights for everyone and i'm excited to to share with you this this moment from the ground it's Defend fantastic so you know really truly we are a global peace tribe as we've got um uh omashar in uh ashland oregon and trish in san francisco and we're going to be hearing from both of them um, as they kind of report about what's going on in their in their worlds. I was originally going to be at the Relax Expansion Festival, but as you know, I kind of got this COVID thing. So, but I am feeling much better. And I want to say the um, wonderful comments that Good. I received from all of you over this weekend, Friday night and Saturday night, have really meant a lot. Um, I'm going to go back to Omashar for a moment. Um, Omashar, I haven't shown any of those photos. Um, I can't do it from WhatsApp. If you can send me any photos or videos 
on Facebook Messenger, that'll be easier. For yes. Me. So. Okay. Um, maybe I could show you, give you something you could um, show today, perhaps even. Um, I'm yeah. on my little iPhone and the, and the connection here is a little interesting. But because Trish is there in um, New York, I have my lovely... She's in San Francisco. She's in San Francisco. Uh, New York, excuse me. He's San Francisco. I knew that. I've only just woken up. That's my excuse. <clears throat> but I got my pride, my pride scarf. Yay! Oh, far out. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Even though today it's going to be 105 degrees. Can you, can you believe that? Wow. Wow. I know. I know. But there we are. Yeah. Um, Such as well, life I want to read, in we'll paradise. read some of the comments from some of our people. And again, everybody, let us know where you're coming from geographically. Let us know what gay pride means to you. Um, and of course, obviously, you don't have to be gay, but we want to just celebrate uh, everybody. We are very inclusive. It's, you know, we're just completing World Unity Week. So here are some of the comments. Lily writes, um, hi, Scott. And yes, she's got the pink memo. Eleanor, who we love uh, from Vancouver Island, uh, sending gratitude for everything and everyone. Of course, there's Omashar. Mary, one of our regulars, is in Santa Rosa. Nana Queenie is in Brooklyn. You know, Nana, um, my whole father's side of the family was from Brooklyn, New York. My great-grandfather, Papu, came over from Greece. Um, his full name was Nicholas Alexandrovich Katamarjanapopoulos. They changed it at Ellis Island and they settled in Brooklyn, New York. So um, uh, uh, I love that there's somebody from Brooklyn with us on a regular basis. Lily is from South Florida. Wanda writes, I love hanging out with you guys. Love and blessings from Wanda in Irving, uh, Dallas County, Texas. And sh uh, she has a message for you, Trish. Wanda says, hope you guys are distributing voter registration cards. Just saying. After this week, we need attentive voters. Um, I'm gonna bring on Trish to get her response to that. That is a great idea. That is not something we were doing, but I do wanna share with you about the Vera Sphere. If you don't know about them, you should look up their documentary because it's freaking amazing. And the their mission, I don't exactly, I can't tell you all about it because I'm excited. <laughs> But check these beautiful people out. Wow. Woo. Careful. I might get a button in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm so excited to be here and to to share with you. Are you would you be open to share with the community that I'm I'm participating in walking with? Would you like that? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Tell us all about Bloom. Can you hear? Yes. Hi. Yes. Hi there. Oh, hey. so, you are beaming out to um, about a thousand people all around the world right now. Awesome. Yeah. Tell us about Bloom and and why why we're all here yeah. as this group of people. That's a great, great question. Put the, uh, Trish, you got to put the camera closer to her mouth. We can barely hear her. Oh, um, oh the camera, this thing. Are, can you hear? I can hear. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's this. Go ahead. Is the mic on here or on here? Oh, it might be here. Um, okay. Can you hear me better? Yes, much better. Thank you. Okay. Um, so Bloom is a community for ethically non-monogamous, I'll take myself off ethically non-monogamous, clear, kink, and other alternative communities, uh, a lot of creative communities. We help people gather around events. Um, we're here in the Bay Area. We're also in San Diego, LA, and New York, and coming to San Diego and or, uh, Portland and Seattle soon. Uh, we're about 11,000 people, um, all who share a lot of these identities and just want to connect around um, community. So yeah Beautiful. so we're gathered here we're gathered here for pride because we're actually partnering with san francisco pride um and hosting their event their community events calendar and so they've invited us to march with the san francisco pride team um at the front of the parade yeah fantastic and maybe you can share with our viewers what does it mean to be sex positive 
Yeah, totally. Um, so sex positive is the view on sex that it's normal and healthy. Um, and I think that consenting adults should and can, not necessarily should, but can and do, you know, do together. Um, it's really just, you know, removing sort of the shame from sex and saying, this is normal, this is healthy. If we're all consenting, we can do it together. Beautiful. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being with us. You're gorgeous. Totally. Um, oh, thank you. And, uh, you got a great smile. And uh, thank you for sharing your, and have a fantastic parade. Have a great time. Yeah. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh, well, we're going to come back and forth to you, Trish. And every time you find somebody interesting or once the parade starts, let me know. Um, okay. I'm going to share some viewer comments and a little bit of stuff, do a little meditation, and I'll be back to you in a few minutes. And that's Trish in San Francisco, um, the Gay Pride Parade. Uh, so I want to get back to some of the comments from you and welcome everybody. We've got so many of our favorite friends here um, in the Zoom room. And I also want to welcome all the people watching on Facebook. Um, uh, thank you to John and Summer Raymer who take us out through the sign network to about a hundred different Facebook groups and pages. Um, and especially our friends on Unify. Um, it's always really fun that we have people from all over the world. So let us know, even if you're on Facebook, where are you coming from geographically? Um, and I see we've got Darina from uh, Ecuador is with us, Phyllis from Hawaii, Terry Russo, we love you, Terry, from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, um, Leif Erickson from California, Phil from Vermont, Jeffrey Colbrook, who always reminds us that Levolution is the answer. And he's in Cortland, New York, enjoying the Levolution. And we love you very much, Jeff. Um, Terry Russo writes, we need women pride to join forces. Absolutely. Roger Tellefsen, who's also a regular from Roseville, California. I'm pretty close to you right now. Roger, I'm up in Reno, not too far. And Suzanne is in Ashland, Oregon. Suzanne's also attending the Relax Expansion Festival, which I was supposed to be at. But I'm here instead. Uh, and I'm grateful to be here. Um, uh, Wanda welcomes Bloom. Um, Nana says love for everything. And uh, oh, I'm glad you guys like this shirt. Though. I gotta be honest, a button popped just as I was putting it on, getting ready for the show. So I, I noticed that I keep like, you know, not wanting to expose my belly button to all of you. I don't wanna frighten you. Maybe it's because in sex positive, gay pride, um, so you might see my belly button today. <laughs> um, this is going to be a very interactive show. I want to hear from all of you. Um, and for anybody who's watching for the first time, uh, the Global Peace Tribe brings these wonderful online shows. Um, we have been doing three shows every weekend. And I'm going to do my best to continue to bring as many shows as I can. But I also need to take a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a break, although I've been very inspired by this weekend and really happy to see that people would be happy even to see replays or excerpts from the past. And um, speaking of excerpts from the past, uh, I would love to share, uh, as many of you know, uh, one of my absolute favorite uh, people are the Twin Ray. And um, I'm going to do a, a longer segment with the Twin Ray a little bit later today. But they are really beautiful people. I had the blessing to spend a week with them. In fact, if I had gone to Ashland, I was going to see them while uh, at the Relax Pansion Festival. I'm still thinking of going to Ashland to see them. They're beautiful and they're the real deal. Um, they are always in a state of love and gratitude. And so usually I start the Sacred Sunday show with some sort of a meditation or prayer. I'm going to start it with Shekinah's miracle prayer. And so um, uh, some of you may have seen this before. She spontaneously put her cell phone down and was just singing a prayer in Hebrew, uh, praying for the children that are suffering in the world. And her cell phone happened to record it. She hadn't even planned on it. And uh, then she added these visual images. So I love Shekinah Ma and Sanandaji, the Twin Ray, 
And so here is uh, a beautiful three minute video of uh, Shekinah's miracle prayer. Hana bekoget Tati tehua Kabelina Tamcha Sabe nu tare nu noa Hana bekoge jula diami neha tati tehua Nagi bod do shahe hi hude kakavat shamurem. Hana be koge jula diami neha tati tehua. Bahem tahalem rahame zikate katamit gamle. Hana be koge jula diami neha tati Asin kadosh burov tufka na elada techa. Ana bakoge jhulad yami neha tati teuha. Yahid gehelamcha pene socha Kadusha te ha. Hana Hana be koke tulat yami neha tati te ua. Bahu Hashem kavod malchuto leolam That voice of hers really captures her passion, her soul, her heart. She has such a beautiful heart and is so passionate about bringing peace and oneness into our world. So I really want to read some of the uh, comments uh, from people. And again, remember that I'm most interested in comments that are inspiring, that are what you're passionate about. Um, as opposed to comments, I, I don't really read comments that are making anybody else wrong or judging anybody's language. Um, so I want to make that clear. And um, a few people in Unify, uh, so I am going to be checking all the comments coming in on Facebook, Unify. D writes, so beautiful. Yeah, I agree. And Bugs Keen writes, I pray for peace among the people. Um, Absolutely, and that there are victims of greed and corruption, he writes. Um, Wanda writes, uh, her sweet voice is encapsulating. Oh, thank you for letting me know I should uh, move my volume. How's this? I had forgotten to move my microphone up. Is this better? Are you guys able to hear me better? Let me know. Hopefully this is better. Jeffrey Colebrook writes, I love the oneness of unity. Absolutely. Uh, and again, for anybody who missed it, this last week was World Unity Week. And um, it was a really powerful week where there were hundreds of events that took place as people came together and celebrated. Um, and, you know, we're all coming together, whether you call it the Global Peace Tribe, 
or however you call it, uh, we're all coming together. And each and every one of you is just as important as the presenters that you might see on our shows. Um, we're all waking up. You know, we are all part of this awakening world. And we all have our own private challenges. Um, and I see Trish is back. And so I think it's time to get a little bit more in touch with what's going on with Trish. So let me get my cursor here. Hey, Trish. Uh, you're muted, but we want to hear what's going Hi, on. Let's... Parade. The parade has started, and I should probably watch where I'm going. <laughs> so we're right behind the these these people. I don't know if you can see the. I don't think I don't know if you can see it, but we're we're really here supporting abortion rights and freedom to choose over here, and then we're, we're again right at the front of this parade so here's these beautiful humans just open house here here's my bloom community up here we're starting and we're really excited oh trish it's so much fun to be with you and to be marching with you and to see all the beautiful people of different shapes sizes colors genders it's really really wonderful there's a nude guy behind me and I don't have consent to actually share his nudity, so I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> I wonder where we could probably, oh, oh, you don't have his consent, got it, got it. Now, wait a minute. I don't have he's, his consent. He's walking naked in the parade, but we don't have his consent? Well, I don't have your consent to see his. Uh, well, maybe, maybe from the top up. <laughs> or, if, or if he has, or, or his buns, maybe his buns. <laughs> you know, I'll take a look. <laughs> um, and you know, this is again, sex positive doesn't mean that we necessarily are going to that any of us are agreeing to engage in any particular form of sexual expression. It's just that we represent we recognize that everybody has the right to their their sexual expression as long as there's consent. Um and that any two consenting adults can experience sexual pleasure however they wish. And that's what sex positive really means. Um, and so, um, uh, really, really fun. We'll come back to you in a minute, Trish. Let us know when there's some fun floats. Um, and I, I always love the dikes on bikes. So hopefully we'll catch the dikes on bikes this year. Dikes on bikes parade was yesterday. But we'll see what happens. Ah, well, hopefully they'll they'll make another they'll make another little tour through. I didn't know they had their own parade now. They they are. I didn't either. So all right, I'll find some some cool things to get into. Okay, thanks, Trish. See you soon. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying that. Um, let me know in the comments, um, and uh, if you're enjoying seeing Trish and what's going on with her. Um, and I'm going to see if Omashar is still with us. Um, looks like he has his camera off. Uh, and by the way, I always love when you guys turn your cameras on. I can see Eleanor Joy, Roger, Lori. <clears throat> I am here. Oh, there you are. Hey, bro. I'm going to bring yeah, you on. My, my, my internet's a little choppy, but I, uh, I've been trying to, um, cut some photos from the videos and I sent you three to your messenger, because unfortunately, the, unless you drag and uh, drag those videos from WhatsApp of what I took yesterday, um, I can't send you them. The two big uh, messenger doesn't let me do it. But anyway, right. I, I'm uh, yeah. I'm, about... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. I'll show them right now. Here's some photos. There's Omashar with some of his friends uh, in Ashland. Oh, that's uh, Jamish Jamishka. Oh my God, it's Jamishka. Of course, Jamishka. I recognize them now. I, I and of was, course, I'll... I was. I was uh, I was lying on the ground. Uh, you know, when you go somewhere, you got to. I was just trying to chill out, lying on the grass, splayed out on my blanket. And suddenly, these two people came and lay beside me with I had my eyes closed, and they put their faces down to my faces and said hi. And I thought, holy smoke, how nice could it be to have two songbirds come and greet me, Jamishka? And uh, they they played a beautiful set um, the night before last uh, in a private. Uh, 
uh, afterwards in a little um, building, um, which was not main stage. It was a lovely, intimate set that they played. But what beautiful beings they are! Yeah, mm. truly, All right, so the real deal. Again, we've seen we've seen Jamishka on the Awakening World. So there they are in Ashland, Oregon, with Omashar. And then there's <laughs> Omashar with Deborah Giusti, who, of course, I partnered with on producing Saturday Night Live. 90 shows. We did 90 consecutive Saturday nights together. So it's great that you were able to be with Deborah. And and then tell us what this picture is. He's at the altar. Up, oh, Omashar, we've lost your feed. Oh, well, it looks like children at the altar in at the foot of the main stage at the Relax Expansion Festival. Um, and yeah, we lost our chart, but I'm sure we'll be back. So, welcome everybody. Are you enjoying this? Um, Jeffrey writes, I'm grateful to have sexual feelings at 76. Absolutely. Yeah. Lily writes, I love that Trish is sharing her experience of the parade with us. Uh, Terry Russo writes, I remember West Hollywood had a cool uh, weekend parade. That's right. I, I was at that parade once. Um, Terry Russo says, God bless Deborah. Wanda says, we love Deborah. Nancy writes, um, uh, you know, Nancy, it sounds like you're, once again, kind of doing the challenging thing. And that's not really what we're all about. Um, Jeffrey writes, just a little tidbit of my history to share was on the caravan. Tell us more about that, Jeffrey. Um, and uh, yes, Suzanne, Deborah is at Relax Pansion. So if you go back today, uh, you might be able to see her. Um, uh, she was there. So this is the last episode of the Awakening World on uh, spring festival, spring season. Don't worry, it's not the last episode ever. We're going to be doing a lot more. Um, I do want to let everybody know that a week from today, um, no, I'm sorry, two weeks from today, July 10th, Sunday, July 10th, at five o'clock Pacific time, eight o'clock Eastern, I'm gonna be hosting uh, a really fun event with Fantuzzi. He's at the Rainbow Gathering right now. Um, and so he's putting together uh, some of his musical artists. And of course I've done, in fact, the very first Saturday Night Alive was a fundraiser for Fantuzzi, who uh, has Lyme's disease. And that's how this all began and I've, hosted several Fantuzzi, Fan Tuesdays and Fantuzzi events. And we're going to do one uh, two weeks from today, Sunday, July 10th. So put that in your calendar for sure. Um, and uh, um, all right, I think what I'm going to do is I want to share uh, another kind of fun segment. And which one am I going to choose? Um, Oh, let's hear from Marianne Williamson. Uh, Marianne has certainly been one of uh, the great speakers, teachers, leaders of our tribe for a long time. She's been on The Awakening World and Saturday Night Live several times. And um, when I first decided I was going to uh, shift into doing The Awakening World, I was interviewing her and talking with her, and this is what she had to say. Uh, it's a short 90-second clip of Marianne on the awakening world. A Course in Miracles tells us that the world is a dream. In our dream state, we have fallen into a nightmare. A lot of us think, well, if only we could awaken. But the Course in Miracles says you can't go from the nightmare to awakening. You have to go from the bad dream to the happy dream. The happy dream is the awakening world. We're in the process of awakening. The bad dream becomes a happy dream, a planet that is infused with so many warlike situations, people killing each other, atrocities, becomes a world in which war is merely a memory. A planet in which there is so much unnecessary suffering becomes a world in which there is no unnecessary suffering. A world in which 12,000 children die every day of starvation becomes a world in which all are fed, in which all have enough because we have used so wisely and compassionately the resources of this planet. 
a world in which laughter and love and song and forgiveness and dancing and merriment is the dominant human experience. Once we get there, once we're a happy dream, then we will awaken and we'll be beyond form altogether. Thank you so much, Marianne, for your incredible contribution to help us truly become an awakening world. Thank you. It's wonderful working with you. What a what a wonderful woman she is. And by the way, uh, she is planning to run for president again. Um, and she really has a lot of courage. Um, I've gotten to know Marianne, of course, because when she ran for president uh, in 2020, uh, she used my Zoom room for about a I think it's 15 or 20 of her webinars where she would take a down ballot candidates and be running for a state senate or assembly uh, and do a webinar with them. And she had no experience with Zoom and webinars, so they used my Zoom room. And um, it's fun to host that and to get to know her. And she took a lot of hits running for president. Um, the the mass media, and especially the conservative media like Fox News, painted her as an airy-fairy, new-age kook. And of course, what's sad is Marianne was just sharing the deep truth that I think most of the people watching this show resonate with. Um, She also, you know, spent a lot of money and came out of it pretty significantly in debt. and so it's a lot of courage to do what she does. And um, we will, of course, continue to support Marianne through World Unity Week and the Awakening World and Evolutionary Leaders Network. And um, I might show another segment of Marianne a little bit later on in the show. I'm going to get back to some of your comments. Uh, Terry writes, wow, Marianne is what we need if only people will wake up. And here's Trish. She's back. Um, I'm going to read one more comment. Lily writes, whoa, Scott, I haven't heard Marianne say that yet, that she's going to run. Yeah, she said it at the um, recent uh, Whole Life Expo in San Francisco. All right, I'm going to see what's up with our, our wonderful reporter out on the streets in San Francisco, Trish. Hey, Trish. You look great, by hey. the way. What's up? So I wanted to just share, so Unite Here, hold on, I'm going to turn the camera on. Unite Here is a, a, a collective of people who are really supporting um, a unionized rights for hospitality workers. You know, there's the representation here for humanity is really what we're going for, is that everyone has the freedom and the right to be (laughs) everyone has the right to be free like we're worthy of of being free to to have our expression to not have to work multiple jobs to have the right to choose what our our body autonomy is to be able to love who we want to love to have sex with whoever we want to have sex with if it's consented oh just want to remind everyone that that whatever that bringing it back to compassion we talked about this before a while ago is that bringing it back to compassion about how people want to be addressed to choose what gender they are to choose how they express themselves and and that's why we're here today and that's why we're moving for the global peace tribe right this is why the awakening world is the way it is um yeah do you have anything to say about that <laughs> It's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And it's and it's what it is what the awakening world is all about. Um, and it's it's so wonderful to see so many people of diversity coming together in celebration. Um, and uh, it's wonderful to have you with us. And the you know, it, it looks good. We're able to see your video feed pretty well. Um, and your audio is good. So I'm really happy that this is working out. This is maybe going to be a new direction that we do of having more and more of all of you, anybody listening, um, coming in and sharing with us when there's something special happening in your community, uh, whether it's a parade or an event. Um, 
I, I love this idea of, of doing more of this kind of sharing what's happening in our awakening world. And here it is. This is an example of awakening world. Um, I mean, look at all these beautiful people celebrating um, together. Um, now, what's open house? Do you know what open house is about, Trish? Well, it looks like they're housing services and community for LGBT seniors. Yeah! You know, I mean, let, let's get real. That marginalized communities have the hardest time finding housing, food. Like discrimination is a real thing. And it's we're, this is why we're here. We're still struggling with this in 2022. We're still struggling with discrimination, prejudice, racism, sexism, violence. Um, you know, people are taking rights away. Like, we're here. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to choose to show up together. Absolutely. And it, it is so important for us to put the spotlight on where there is ageism, discrimination, um, any place where people are not being treated fairly and equally. And that is a big part of our awakening world, both the planet awakening, humanity awakening, and this particular show, and what Trish and I love to bring to you. Um, uh, all right, now what's coming up next? I see a big red banner. What's it say? Institute, it's an institute on aging. I don't know, aging. but you were just talking about aging. Oh, wait, we got some wiggling. Let's wiggle. Woo! Maybe you can find somebody from the Institute on Aging who will tell us more about what they're doing. All right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, that would be cool. Because um, I want to recognize, I'm going to go back to myself in for a minute. Um, you know, a lot of the people who watch this show, like Jeffrey is in his 70s. Eleanor, I believe, is in her 70s. I'm 66. And a lot of us who watch this show are, we're aging. And everybody watching is a day older than they were yesterday. So we're all aging in our own ways. And I know that a lot of the people that were attracted to these shows, Saturday Night Live, Straight Talk, uh, The Awakening World, um, we're a little bit older, so we're not out as much. And so we're getting more of our community connection online. Certainly that's true for me. Uh, the majority of my connection now is online. Um, and so as we age, it is important to uh, honor uh, and support each other. Eleanor just wrote that she's now 80 years old. I'm going to, Eleanor, do you mind if I put you on camera for a minute? Um, there she is. There's Eleanor. She's one of our absolute regulars. Look at how beautiful she is. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful, Eleanor. Age 80. Um, what's the secret, Eleanor, to, to being so beautiful after 80 years? <laughs> and we can hear you. You're not muted. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. We oh, hear my you. gosh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I just keep myself very active and I do a lot of meditation and I really watch what I eat. What are some of the things that you eat? Organic. Mm. Yeah. Mainly. Yeah. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. It's working. Oh. Oh, okay, um, Eleanor, I'm going to go to uh, Trish. Thank you, Eleanor, for being with us. Hi, Hi Trish. From the Institute on Aging. Who are you? Oh, Um, uh, Trish, we can't hear him yet, so you got to uh, give him the other earpiece. Oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Tom Broyote. I'm the CEO of the Institute on AJ, and we are so happy to be back at Pride. Hey, Tom. Well, right now you're going out to about a thousand people. Many of us are older. I think we just lost the feed. Um, I think we just lost Trisha's feed for a minute. Um, isn't this fun? Uh, all right, so I'm going to read some of the comments. Wanda was asking if he was associated with um, ARP. Um, what does that stand for? American Association of Retired People, I think it is. Eleanor Dry writes, and it was great seeing Eleanor. Active and loving life. 
Wanda writes, we're more seasoned. Age is a number. Absolutely. Omashar says, just a spring chicken. Wanda writes, I feel like Mary Poppins, flying from place to another. How marvelous. Thank you. Oh, good. So I'm glad you're enjoying this, Wanda. Um, and yeah, it looks like there's good responses to the idea of having all of you uh, covering us in different places. Um, so I'm going to really work on that. That's going to be a big part of the summer version of the awakening world is uh, connecting with people all over the planet. Um, so let us know, write to me. Best way is always to send me private messages on Facebook. I'm gonna go back to Trish. Hey Trish, we lost you for a moment. I know, it's, it gets fishy out here when there's a lot of people screaming. But check this shirt out, oh hold on. What do you see it? Um, we see a man with a pink shirt, but we can't read what it what it says. Let me let me put it for liberation for all. Beautiful. Read it one more time. And I saw that sign that said heteros love homos. Homos. Uh, and I love that there's dogs there. With his little gay pride sweater. I love it. All right. <laughs> it's a great time out here. It's it's so wonderful that people are choosing love. Yeah. They're choosing to show up. They're choosing love. We're, we're out here doing the work. Yeah. I love yeah. you. Thank you for love being you with too. us today. Oh, fabulous. Thank you, Trish. It's really, really fun. All right. Um, uh, oh, okay. So for those of you who don't do Facebook, um, you can try emailing me. I try to keep up with my emails, but not always, to be honest. I get like hundreds and I don't keep track of them. I try. Um, so um, Facebook Messenger, at least I can kind of scan it and uh, it's easier for me to keep track of private messages. Um, uh, you can also use WhatsApp. I'm easy to find. I'm the only Scott Katamas on planet Earth. So uh, WhatsApp is another way to reach me or Voxer. Um, and yeah, I'd love to hear from any of you that uh, have good internet signal and would like to share something going on in your world, in your community. Um, I'd love to really open it up so that we're seeing and hearing from more of you. I think that would be a really wonderful direction for us to go into uh, in the future. And let me know how you like that. Um, and I will put my email address into the chat box uh, in a moment. I think it's time for some music. Um, let me see if Omashar is with us. There's Omashar. Hey, bro. <clears throat> I see you've sent Hello. us some photos, so I'm going, to show some, I'm going to show some of your photos, and then I'm going to play one of your videos, because it's time for some Omashar music. Which one, but, perhaps? Um, uh, well, yesterday I played Kingdom of Gold, so we've got two left from the ones that you sent me. We've got, um, uh, let's see, we've got Dark Knight trust to, or Trust, and trust to Love. To love. Well, Dark, Dark Knight's about um, awakening, and um, it's about the um, the giant inside of us, which of course is divine consciousness coming to light, and it's awakening. So there's that one, and uh, the uh, All right, well, love, we'll, 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 we'll play Dark times. Knight. All right, we'll play Dark Knight <clears throat> in a minute, <clears throat> and then at the end of the show, I'll play Trust to Love. <clears throat> just and just right before now, we carry on, uh, Scott, um, the night is spelt with a K dark night specifically because the night is the significance of of the divine consciousness emerging in you as the night you know the the magnificent um k-n-i-g-h-t camelot pendragon uh um all of that <clears throat> just so people know that it's not a dark night of the soul so <laughs> yeah beautiful i and i've always loved the arthurian archetypal imagery Our arthurian legends have always spoken to me deeply and I've been to Glastonbury three times. It's always been like a pilgrimage. Um, I'm going to go to some of your photos. This looks like uh, Shyla Ray Sunshine. 
Um, it is. I I had to uh, screenshot them and cut them and send them to you, so they're not awesome. But yes, it is, and uh, that's uh, playing with Elijah Ray oh. and uh, Sh Shyla Ray. Wow, what a powerhouse! We saw her um, a couple of weeks ago on the Awakening World, and uh, and she sang a cappella, and she was such a powerful being. But standing next to her, and she's just so loving and open and um, huggy and uh, outrageous. Um, what a power! What a heart! Fabulous. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here's a, a shot of the crowd. Um, dancing and moving and grooving to the music. Well, this is what Max Ribner did was he got us all in a circle and he was just talking us through about us all awakening and how as a group we are in a, in a sacred pod, we are much more powerful than a, as an individual uh, when we're all in the same tune, all in the same heart space. And so that was, he was leading us there with his, uh, yeah. And the last time I was on this photo, you cut out. So tell us about the altar and the children. Oh, that's just in front of the stage. Uh, and can, last night um, we were listening to Elijah Ray and the Band of Light. It was amazing. And Lloyd and his wife, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name, Lloyd's wife, was at the front and there was these children there. They were just so innocent and so not aware of anything except the now present. And the little girl on the left is wearing some kind of a fox mask and i tried to catch that but i didn't want to be in their face taking a photo but it's just the innocence and and the scope of the real expansion how it all ages every race every gender every every everything is is represented there and accepted it's phenomenal i'm looking forward to the last day today so oh. yeah well, well it's great having you with us and so now we're going to play um uh this wonderful song dark night K-N-I-G-H-T, uh, a video from our beloved brother Omashar.
Mm, peace to all. Life to all. Love to all. Namaste. Oh, that is such a beautiful video. Really gorgeous. Yeah, they were really fun to create. <clears throat> they take a long, long time. Um, I, um, I, I looked onto this um, company called videasy.com and uh, you can, you, I must have spent hundreds of hours finding all the different little, little free, royalty-free uh, clips. <clears throat> and then I used um, iMovie on my, on my, uh, my iMac, my Pro, to create that. It's amazing. All from my home. Holy smoke. It's professional. It's up there, man. So I want you to take in all these comments that are coming in to you from our, our people. Lily writes, Omashar, I love all the mandala images that you are including. Wanda writes, hand in hand together, we are one. Jeffrey writes, wonderful, Omashar. Thank you. Shauna says, nice. Suzanne writes, oh my God, Omashar, that song and video is incredible. I love it. Beautiful message. Terry Russo writes, thanks, Omashar. Jeffrey writes, very creative. And um, there you have it. Uh, people are loving you and appreciating you. And isn't it wonderful through technology that we can be all over the world connecting it's it's a beautiful thing. It's it's a beautiful thing, uh, Scott. And what is even you know, initially, I was quite resistant to going on this technology thing. I guess as everything new comes in, but as we're getting used to its format, I'm starting to find my consciousness starting to feel all the people on these Zoom calls. You know, because we're not just focused on the screen. We're we're seeing Eleanor and Wanda and Nancy and everybody. Um, all of our uh, our cohorts and, and feeling the countries that they're in. And so there's something else happening with Zoom where our, our consciousness is expanding and we're etherically holding hands with each other. Um, yeah, it's phenomenal. It's, it's, it's a new emerging thing, you know. And of it, course, it uh, all, all technology ultimately, from my perspective, is an outpicturing of our inner technology anyway. So. Hmm. Well, we love you, brother. You have become such a big part of Global Peace Tribe. Um, and uh, Suzanne just wrote, by the way, uh, Omoshar, you are inspiring me to try and learn to use iMovie and be creative. Thank you for Do that. Do so. <clears throat> it's, very, it's very easy. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to um, go to uh, a, a few of our other comments and maybe one more time to Trish. Um, and uh, it's great to see everybody, by the way. You know, I'm going to put, um, I'm just going to open up the gallery view for a minute so we can see those of you that do have your cameras on. Um, and uh, here, let me change it so we only see those with. Look at all of our friends who have their cameras on. And there's Trish. I'm going to go to Trish in just one minute. But hello, Suzanne, Eleanor Joy, Roger, Nana Queenie, Lori, Omashar, Jeffrey. Lily, Terry Russo, Phyllis, so good to see all of you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and Dr. and Mrs. Future are going to be joining us in a moment. That's pretty cool. Um, so, all right, I'm going to go to Trin last time. Hey, Trish, what's happening? All right, well, I made it back to my Bloom folks. And, you know, people are out in, in flocks here. It is, it's really amazing to see who's not walking and who's just really having a good time. I think I've by five, maybe 200 people already. Um, <laughs> but they're really, it's really sweet to be here and to see how much love there is in the world for people who want to just, who really want to show up and make that commitment to be loving. Mm, so, beautiful. Thanks for being on this journey with me. Absolutely, Trish. Well, you, you know, you have initiated a new chapter of the Awakening World, which is <laughs> Trish and other friends reporting from other parts of the world as we all can connect. So 
and your beautiful smile and your beautiful energy is just lighting us all up. We love you, Trish. Love you too. Bye. Well, wasn't that, isn't that fun? Isn't that really, really, really fun? Um, and uh, uh, I'm in Reno, Nevada, by the way. Uh, Mary's asking where I am. I'm at a house sitting in Reno. And it's been good. I'm all by myself with my dog. Um, and it's been a good place for me to uh, heal and recover from my this little bout of COVID that knocked me on my butt. Um, but I'm feeling much better. I see that Dr. and Mrs. Future are in the house. And if you guys turn your cameras on, I would love to um, put the spotlight on you and hear from you guys. Um, so uh, we love Dr. and Mrs. Future. Uh, they, of course, create all the videos, the video that I play. There they are. Hey, hey, hey. This is Dr. and Mrs. Future, also known as Alan and Son. And you look especially cuddly. <laughs> Hello, you two. Hey, Hi. <laughs> Happy Sacred Sunday. Happy Pride. What a beautiful gathering you're hosting, as usual. Nice to oh, see everybody. I've... Feel the vibes. Yeah, I've been missing you guys. We haven't connected for a little while. Are you in Boulder Creek? Yeah, or are you at the uh, beach house? We were at the beach house until a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, we we've been very consumed with the memorials happening in our community. So lately, many people so. have passed lately. It's like a soul ship has been leaving, and we've been uh, working on doing a what you might say a, a memorial uh, video. Yeah, we're doing kind of uh, memory revival and uh, celebrating the the life of the people that we love who are passing. Yeah. Well, definitely when that video is done, of course I'll play it over and over and. I know that we're talking about Kitty Wells, Joe Bullock, yeah. Michael yeah. Gosney. Yeah. Yeah. All of the above. Iman. Yeah. Iman, so many right. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Even Pat Flanagan really is kind of in this circle of uh, elders that are much beloved that are, you know, they've left their messages, they've done their work, and now they're back on the other side. <laughs> and, and, part of the time that we've all lived through is amazing. You know, when we look at like when Michael Gosney, you know, he came in with uh, the whole um, from digital, from the digital, to, the analog, the digital world and, and all the artists in San Francisco that embraced the new interactive immersive technology and, and what that meant with the internet and, and how the internet has changed us all, inclu including this broadcast. Yeah, and really connecting all of the consciousness evolution that's been happening. Simultaneously. You know, from just people embracing our spiritual uh, gift of being free beings in this beautiful planet Earth and taking the time to uh, cultivate the new evolution of our consciousness and doing it in such a incredibly creative way and with community and with um gifting all of these incredible uh arts to each other and creating the new world it's 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 a wonderful chapter that we're all in of life yeah it is it is you know today is the last episode of our spring season but what's really cool is it's giving birth to i love the idea of really having more and more going to people like trish in san francisco and you in boulder creek and Omuchar at Relax Pansion Festival and doing more of that where we're seeing our tribe all over the world. Um, yeah, oh, you're going to love this. Terry Russo just okay. wrote, Dr. and Mrs. Future, you are reminding me of John and Yoko in Bed for Peace. <laughs> we are in bed, that's true. Hey, we're here to say the revolution is uh, being televised. We're not leaving until there's world peace. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we love peace in our heart. We hope it's happening everywhere. <laughs> oh, beautiful. But next time you gotta take your top off also, son, to kind of, you know, uh we're getting we're getting to see uh, there we go. Beautiful. All right. My heart. <laughs> You're beautiful. I love that heart. I love both of your hearts very much. <laughs> uh, uh, you uh, Shana says, yes, I thought of that too, John and Yoko. So you're invoking <laughs> Uh, you're bringing John and Yoko back into uh, our memory. Yeah, well, they certainly did their part. 
Love them. Now, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Dr. and Mrs. Future have a radio show they've been doing for what, 12, years, years? 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Um, always bringing every week what's happening in the future. So what are some of the latest latest people you've had on or the latest uh, realizations or ahas about our upcoming future? Well, we had Brett Leonard on recently. We saw him at the Gaz Memorial. And oh my gosh. He, yeah, and he came to visit us. And uh, he's working He's working on quite a few interesting projects, including uh, a, 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 a use of, uh, of um, media to... <laughs> To create uh, cures for post-traumatic stress syndrome, uh, he has a company called Psychedelic VR, which is all about uh, creating psychedelic states using media for healing purposes. Wow. And, yeah, it's, it's working with a guy named Skip Rizzo, Rizzo at, uh, Dr. Skip Rizzo at uh, USC in LA. And so a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, work that uh, uh, that have been done with psychedelics is now being uh, done with media. Like media can trigger off these states of consciousness for creating relaxation and uh, and healing uh, of uh, trauma, deep trauma. And really, I would say that what what all this represents, what our particular media tribe represents, yeah. is that the age of Aquarius that we're entering is going to be an age of artistic expression and community. And the, um, the exaltation of humanity through science and the arts. And we are creators of reality and technology is our creation. And rather than seeing it as an oppressor or as something that uh, we don't understand or to be feared, it's really important to realize that every bit of creation is divine and we are directing it with our consciousness and it is a reflection of our consciousness. So we want to imbue it with the highest intentions and consciousness and technology are just two of the facets of the incredible divine creation that we all live and embody and participate in. So. Mm, wow. Uh, beautifully stated son. And that's a, that's powerful. Um, I'm bringing myself on, you know, when you brought up Brett Leonard, uh, just to let people know, Alan and son are two of my closest friends. We're family. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been working together and playing together for decades. And, um, you know, talking about people who passed, one of my favorite moments with you guys was when we went to see the screening of the movie that Brett made about Siegfried and Roy. Oh, oh yes, the, yeah. the magic box. Mm -hmm. And Siegfried yeah. just recently passed this year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, at that screening, uh, I don't know if you were there, but I had a really lovely conversation with him. And I found oh. him, you know, while Roy was off being Roy, the star of the show, uh, Siegfried was, you know, kind of more quiet and, mm -hmm. and talking very honestly about his difficult childhood Mm -hmm. and his challenges in overcoming his challenges. And um, just, he was very humble and very beautiful. And yeah. anyway, he recently passed. Um, yeah. And, and of course, uh, Brett made that movie, which uh, is one of the reasons why we're all connected to that. And I'm from Las Vegas and there really is a kind of a soul tribe that really understands how media, technology, life on earth, compassion of humans and animals and how all of our love for each other, you know, Siegfried and Roy being a very prominent gay couple who were really leaders in their time of, of how to, I mean, they lived with their animals, these, these fierce beasts, right? And they loved them and it was such a tragedy um, what happened. And, yeah. You know, it's such a such a huge story. And of course, Brett was their biographer and had made this beautiful IMAX film about their life. And it's uh, it's just what a world we're living in. And Brett, Brett's about to release a new film called Triumph, uh, which is about a, 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 a boy in high school who who uh, overcomes his uh, handicaps. He has a what was that? Uh, um, is the guy is the guy who's the Walter White's son in uh, Breaking Bad, uh, in the film, uh, 
Uh, and he, he becomes part of the high school wrestling team with a very debilitating disease and, and was able to uh, triumph with that. Uh, it took seven years in the making for a film. It'll be out wow. yeah, next month. Yeah, a very wow. different departure for Brett to, to, to work on healing films like it's that. It's such a compassionate yeah. film. It's a real yeah. heart feel. It's a very feeling film. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, we'll definitely, maybe we'll do even a screening of it uh, for our Global Peace Tribe, which would yeah, be. Yeah, really I think fun. I think so. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. So we're. Well, it's beautiful to spend some Sunday time with you. I am planning yeah. on. I'm up in I'm up in the northern part of our world. I'm in Reno, and I'm going to be heading perhaps to Ashland. But then I'm going to head down south, and definitely want to drop in and visit you guys. Cool, um, that'd be great to see you. Great to see you. With you at the beach house, either way. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll sure. be together soon. Maybe in the next week, ten days, something like that. Cool. I'll well, stay in touch. All Let right. us know when yeah, you're definitely. around. Yeah, Be lovely Love to, to see, you. see you. Yeah. Thank you so much you're for coming. Always welcome. Yeah. Come on, our Doctor show. Miss- Come on. Yeah. Dr. and Mrs. Future, or who make yeah. the video that we see at the beginning of every show. And how yeah. do people listen to your radio show? How do they tune in? DrFutureShow.com. <clears throat> DrFutureShow.com. Uh, That's our podcast. Uh, it's on iTunes. It's or, on uh, the web. That's our URL is DrFutureShow.com. Or and then KSCO. KSCO.com, which app. is the radio we actually talk about the future um, during the day uh, to uh, drive time traffic. <laughs> You'll hear about us. Future Tuesdays at two. Yeah, live. <laughs> for two hours. Uh, yeah. Love you guys so much. Love you, Love you too, for dropping guys. a big part of today. Thank Love you, you guys. See you. Okay. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was Dr. and Mrs. Future, also known as <laughs> Ellen and Son Lundell, coming to us from Boulder Creek. All right. Uh, well, we're going to wrap up fairly soon, um, but I want to read a few of the comments that have come in. Um, uh, Jeffrey Colbrook writes, the future science emerging from Nassim Harriman and where our science wisdom unites with our intuition of our oneness. And we can learn all about that by going to the resonance science dot org. So that's going to be important. Um, Wanda writes, uh, Mrs. VGF, we are moving from our cocoons to our beautiful butterfly cells. Absolutely. Um, Omashar's internet connection is beginning to go out, so we may not, we may or may not hear from him again today. I, uh, I'm going to play one more segment uh, today, and it's going to be from the Twin Ray, uh, because I love the Twin Ray very, very much. And... Um, this is a beautiful segment uh, where they kind of share uh, deeply. Um, and I, I think you'll really enjoy what they have to say. Um, it's about 15 minutes long, and then I'll come on back and we'll wrap up tonight's show by, or today's show, with an Omashar video. So um, here we go with beloved Twin Ray um, sharing their wisdom. So I was here by myself, and I placed my phone down. And with her miracle song, so we're going to hear the miracle song again, and then they're going to lead us into patient and a practice. Um, and I just started to sing. I was singing voice of the mother to the children, receiving the prayers and sending them right back, sending the miracles consistently. And I was even moved, there was, there's a moment, you'll probably hear it, but I even have tears running down my face during this, this moment because, because the prayers are so significant and because the suffering is so great right now. And it also connected into when this was written and what was happening at that time. And so this is a transmission. And the miracle here is that the phone just started recording, started recording this transmission all on its own. And then when I went back to it after the practice was complete, a couple hours later, there was this long recording of of this transmission. 
transmission. And I remember I said, this is a transmission now that needs to be given. Now this isn't a produced song or video or anything. It's just my singing a cappella in the center, transmitting from my pure heart to the pure heart of, of the world. And that's what it is. All right, I'm pulling it up. Hana Bekoge Jihulat Yami I'm glad I figured out how to turn it on. Yeah, that's true, that's great. Yeah. We were so loved. the vibration of your voice so so is you you know and whenever I, I listen to the video and I play it for myself sometimes it's just it brings great comfort it brings very very great comfort and I'd love to just go straight into if you'd like to as we're in this beautiful vibration lead a, a short meditation for us please So let's take a moment and just turn your eyes inwardly into your heart, to the center of your heart, the beautiful expression of the divine that's living and beating inside you. And take a breath into the center of that heart. And as you exhale, just relax your body. It's relaxing in to this moment, letting all of the week just fall away. All of the day just drop to the wayside. 
And all that remains is the presence of your pure, beating heart. And just take a moment to contemplate and to feel this statement, this sharing, mm -hmm. that you are the miracle of divine love. You, in this moment, in this life, you are the miracle of divine love. For it were not for divine love, you would not be here. You are the very miracle that divine love made in manifest form. Letting go of all thoughts about your personal experience story, your person, just let that all go as well and just be present, that one truth that you are the miracle of divine love, your very existence, the very front of this experience of your life is the miracle and that awareness that pure awareness that moment before the thought arises but that pure witness that is the very source of love just allow yourself to be present in that purity that you are no matter what the mind thinks no matter what the mind may project or judge throughout its time Turning your mind and your awareness inwardly to your heart, the true nature and the spark of divinity that allows you this very precious gift, the incarnation, this very breath of spirits that sustains you in this moment. Contemplate that and allow that contemplation to open up more inside you throughout this show throughout tonight, allow that contemplation that you are divine love manifested, that your life is only possible because of divine love. And you are that miracle of divine love. And as you feel that, as you go deeper with that, Allow yourself to acknowledge where you may not express that, where you may not choose to live that. And the powerful divine will that's been given to all humans, that free will is to choose love. And then you realize it's never a choice. With every breath you take, you have the opportunity to choose love. You have the opportunity to open yourself right now 100% to the beauty and the bounty of divine love. But divine love in its presence and in its witness glorifies every particle of you. It upholds, uplifts, and gives in great cherishing love an expression <coughs> that is so deep within the makeup and the very fabric of your soul's essence divine love is what you are made of and the miracles do not exist outside of you they exist deep within the core of your heart. They open with the doors and the gateways by the purity of your righteous actions, your thoughts, 
your deeds, your virtues. Contemplate, do you allow divine love to truly envelop your essence? And do you choose to drop and dissolve everything that could disallow that experience? In this meditation, we invite you to choose with great vehemence and great conviction inside of you that you choose now to open, no matter what you've done, no matter what has been done to you, to that presence of divine love. For it shall never judge you. It shall never do anything but give and share the love of creation that you already are. And the capacity for you to feel divine love, the depths of your being, how deep you feel love perfectly is exemplified by how much compassion you can give. The greater compassion that you can give to this world and to others and have for all of creation mm. is the greater capacity to feel that love of truth that you are. And the beautiful thing with love, true, divine, perfect love, when you taste it, when you experience it, and you taste from the fountain of the true self, the supreme real and supreme reality. When you taste that, nothing else will ever do. <laughs> and so we ask each one of you do you wish to taste the nectar of the miracle? of your true nature? Do you wish to taste the miracle of divinity itself? Do you wish to drink from the fountain of God's grace? And if you wish that, all you need to do is surrender, surrender, and surrender and surrender some more. And when you do, you'll be caught mm -hmm. in the ocean of eternal bliss, eternal love. So may you feel that, and may you never forget that, and may you for never forget who you truly are, what you truly are, and to show up from that knowing because to know God is to love God. And to, to love, love God, God is, to, is know to, God. to know God. And when you choose love over everything else, you take refuge in the presence of the Almighty. Blessed be. Blessed be. Unmute. Thank you for reminding me about unmuting. Um, I listen to that meditation frequently. And it's often what I listen to as I go to sleep at night or when I wake up in the morning. Um, and uh, I just, I love their energy so much. And they are the real deal. Uh, uh, thank you, everybody. I saw some of the uh, comments. Uh, they came in during the, the video. Well, I ate my cereal, to be honest. I got hungry and I needed to have some, some nourishment. Grain-free um, granola and organic blueberries. Um, 
I will absolutely be continuing to do Awakening World broadcasts throughout the summer. And um, I'm going to do a visioning session with Kristen Hoffman, actually. We're going to do some visioning on Tuesday evening together on, on Zoom. And I'm going to make some final decisions, and I'll send out an email later in the week with what the plan is for the summer. But definitely, uh, for sure, uh, two weeks from today, Sunday, July 10th, will be a fan concert that I'll host uh, featuring rainbow gathering people. Um, I'm also talking with uh, Johanna Beekman. She's got a big festival coming up in September, and we're looking at doing um, either a weekend together or at least Saturday night together, where she and some of her musical friends will be kind of uh, giving a preview of the festival she's putting together. Um, and I certainly will collaborate with Omashar. Uh, Larissa Stowe and I are talking about uh, doing a collaboration together uh, in the next month or two. Um, Kristen and I always do collaborations. So there's, there will be more Awakening Worlds. Uh, we will set up another subscription opportunity because we do need support. And um, yeah, that's what's happening. Um, love you all so much. My dog jumped down. There's a park across the street. Yeah, no, I can't turn my, my computer's too large to show you, but um, when she sees other dogs, she jumps and she looks out the window. She was on my lap, as you might have seen. That's Jasmine Bear, but right now she's got her, she's up on her little hind legs looking out the window at the dogs that are at the park just across the street. So that's what's going on with her. And Jasmine Bear has been taking very good care of me. She's been loving me up quite well, as have all of you. Uh, your comments, your support, have really meant a lot to me. Um, yep, you're getting a chance to see the belly button. I guess it's a part of the sex positive aspect of today's <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> uh, we are gonna complete with Omashar music. Omashar has certainly become such a big part of Global Peace Tribe. Um, hey, Omashar, is your internet good enough for you? It's, it's, it's been uh, annoying, but um, it's kind of good. It's t telling me to put down my uh, iPhone. However, um, this is the only song that you're about to play. Um, it's called Trust to Love. And um, I, I also recorded it in Spanish. And it's called uh, Confiendo Otra Vez en el Amor. And then you can catch both versions on the um, Omishar YouTube channel. And I think you're going to play the uh, English one right now. And they both have the same video, but different languaging. And uh, it's an, another beautiful song. It's a really, really simple song. Um, just about that we're all on this journey together. And without each other, we can't do it. Not really, even though it feels like we're doing it individually. But we are holding hands. And ultimately, we'll trust to love again, surrender, and fly as one. Beautiful. And your audio came across great. So here we are uh, Good. closing out, not only closing out Sacred Sunday, closing out World Unity Week, closing out the spring season of the Awakening World with Omashar's beautiful video, Trust to Love.
Oh, Mushara, that was fabulous. And so much work that must have gone into it. I mean, my God, there's an incredible number of visuals. Only about uh, 200 hours per video. You know how it is. <laughs> but when you have a, uh, what is it, an AZDC perfectionist streak, you just go for it until it's done. My pleasure to share. And thank you so much for being the uh, channel for it to be shown to the world. Thank you, Scott. Love you so much. Uh, love you very much, Amishar. And we'll, I'll, let's be in touch this week um, as we kind of make our plans for the summer. And yes. uh, say hello to any of our friends. By the way, I love behind him, that's uh, the... Uh, Glastonbury Tour. The Glastonbury, yes, the Glastonbury it's, Tour. Uh, St. Michael's um, uh, Chapel on the top of the tour, looking down over Avalon and Glastonbury and the Camelot area. And uh, I went there a couple of years ago and there was a rainbow and there it is. <laughs> that is that is amazing that there was a rainbow while you were there. I right? know, right? That's one of my favorite places on the planet that I've ever been. So yes. it's right up there with Machu Picchu. Yes. Wow. wow. Love you. Maybe maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll be in Glastonbury together sometime because I want I to think go so. We can do something there. A global peace tribe. I think that I can imagine that. I can easily envision that. Yes. A lot of people, by the way, are sending thank yous. Nana Queenie, Jeffrey Colbrook, Suzanne, Lily, Eleanor Joy, Shauna, all Wanda, all saying so much. They love your videos. And uh, Terry Russo, just compliment after compliment after compliment. Lily, uh, so much love for you and your videos and your beautiful work, Omar Shar. Um, thank you. Check um, Omar Shar music on YouTube. There's about 10 on there. And as I get some more brain cells, I shall um, 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 create some more. Yeah, Omashar but Music on YouTube. In fact, I will go there real quickly. Give me a minute. Um, uh, Omashar. Here we go. So if you go to YouTube, and you always want to go to YouTube and go to the Global Peace Tribe channel, but also there it is, Omashar Music. And he's got all sorts of wonderful things. He's got Kingdom of Gold I played last night um, and lots of wonderful things. So definitely go to the Omashar Music channel. There it is. Um, there was uh, an amazing right. video. Um, I... It's okay. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead, Omashar. I was just going to say uh, one of the videos I really like is um, it's called The Way Things Are. I played it, I think, um, a couple of weeks ago on the Global Peace Tribe. Awakening World. However, it's of an event that I was at in uh, Mexico and Peru, and um, it has some indigenous Mayan um, dancers dancing with us at the time, and it's just a beautiful thing to watch. To uh, yeah, to see a circle of people. That's the one with the um, yeah, right there. The true ones. Which one is it? Are. It's the true ones. Go up a bit. Oh, okay, yeah, I got confused. Uh, Me to too. Hurt us, so. I'm confused too, but that's life. <laughs> All right, so let's all check out the true ones on Omashar Music on YouTube. Isn't yeah. it amazing how we can find all these things and I know. share with each other no matter where we are in the world? I love you, brother. Enjoy Relax Pension. Say hello to my friends. Send more pictures and videos. Uh, I'll try and I've been sending more videos because I've been trying to uh, think, oh, Scott would love this. Oh, Scott would love this. Actually, Scott would love all of it. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll do some photos now. <laughs> see you, brother. Thank see you, you, beautiful global peace tribe. And hopefully we'll see each other in person at some gathering we will, that will happen. We will do global peace sometime tribe. Sometime in the future. We will. You know, I used to lead uh, lots of retreats um, before the pandemic. I did several retreats every year. They're a big part of my life. Um, and we will do Global Peace Tribe retreats. All right. Well, this is uh, the conclusion of today's show, World Unity Week, the spring season of Awakening World. Um, and who knows, I might be back as early as next weekend. Um, I'll certainly be back on July 10th. And, um, and we'll do lots of wonderful things together this summer, I promise. Thank you, everybody, for you inspire me. Your comments mean so much to me. Um, I'm going to go to Gallery View one last time so we can all see each other. It's always wonderful to see everybody. So turn your cameras on, everybody. There's Terry and Lori and Jeffrey and Lily. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice to see the faces that connect to. There's Suzanne and Kent. 
Nana Queenie in Brooklyn, Eleanor Joy, beautiful, who's just celebrated her first 80 years, looking forward to the next 80 years. Roger, Christina, and Damien. Dr. Future and Mrs. Future with us. Oh, Mrs. Future's, she's disrobed. See, that, that that's happening. The, 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 the new John and Yoko. Um, so love you guys so much. Um, and remember, you can find all of our shows on the YouTube channel. Um, and thank you, everybody, for your love for Jasmine Bear. Um, <laughs> take care, everybody. I'll see you very, very soon. Have a great day.